Weakest person on this stage by far on illegal immigration is Jeb Bush. They come out of an act of love. We will build a wall that works, and I'll get Donald Trump to pay for it. I'll build it. I'm in favor of people coming into this country legally. And you know what? They can have it any way you want. Jeb said when they come across the southern border, they come as an act of love. You said in September 30th that ISIS was not a uh, Am I talking or are you talking, Jeb? I'm talking right now. I also understand that. But when you have a world at the border and at so many places that it's medieval times, we don't have time for tone. We have to go out and get the job done. They send the bad ones over because they don't want to pay for them. Why should they when the stupid leaders of the United States will do it? On Friday, July 19th, the world descended into chaos. Flights were grounded. Entire airports went into a panic. One single line of code was enough to send shockwaves around the entire world. Millions of computers were rendered useless, displaying what's universally known as the blue screen of death. A chilling reminder to the world that a single act or a simple mistake could potentially destroy everything we hold dear. And if you thought mistakes or even malicious attacks against our power grid and technological systems were the only things we need to worry about? Folks, Hurricane Barrel recently delivered another reminder earlier that same month that Mother Nature could still be the number one threat to our modern digital way of life here in America. It knocked out power for nearly 3 million people during a summer heat wave, killing close to 30 people in total, 15 of those from exposure to extreme temperatures. I don't know about you, but I'm experiencing a little bit of whiplash right now. With the global blue screen of death, former presidents getting their ears blown off, and the current president seemingly a shell of a man, I worry for not only our country, but the entire world. In times like these, the only person I know I can count on is myself. As an Army combat veteran and Purple Heart recipient, I don't have to guess how I'll react when death is staring me in the face. That's why I've made it my mission to share as much of the survival knowledge I've accrued over my years in law enforcement and the Army with everyday folks just trying to stay alive in this crazy world. And there's one thing I suggest you do above all else. If you ever find yourself in a grid down situation, Don't delay in watching the presentation I put together. As we recently saw, we could be closer to going offline for good than any of us could ever imagine. Folks, God bless. Stay safe.